what needs to carry over to game two? And if you're the Sixers, what do you got to do differently? If you're the Heat, you need to continue to dominate in the paint because there's no Joel Embiid. Um, right now, the Heat were able to out-rebound uh, my, but the Heat were able to out-rebound Philly by 10. They need to continue to do that. Uh, the Heat also got 52 points in the paint. They need to continue to do that. Take advantage of the fact that the big fella is not there. Pound Philly in the paint. Then on the other end, if you're the Philadelphia 76ers, you got to shoot better from three. Six of 34 from three is not going to cut it. Also, only 10, I think, 10 fast break points tonight. You got to get out and transition, get some easy ones. Last but not least, James Harden, we'll have to turn back the clock. Right. Got to turn back the clock. Five of 13. 13 shots isn't enough. Not with, not with Joel Embiid out. He did say that hitting a couple of shots is what would open their offense up. Yeah, but he's going to have to be aggressive looking to shoot the ball. Listen, if they're going to take him away and be at the elbows and boxes, and we saw that that frustrate Trey Young last series. So right. it, this team is great defensively, but what you have to do is say, okay, listen, I'm going to be aggressive and maybe I get 17, 18 shots. And if they're taking shots away from me, go out there and get 15 to 20 assists. But James Harden has to be aggressive from the jump, and he has to be the reason they win game two.